Hi dear Gemini, take a beautiful deep breath in and raise your vibration and put in your four wands. Challenge your human. And let it out. Gemini, I feel like you come into December a changed beautiful soul and I feel like you know you're ready for different relationships not just romantic changes but platonic like you want authentic friends and I feel like you just saw where you had to cut off some people that you thought were friends and they were really toxic I feel like there's some changes in your business partnerships uh, your connections with a job employment employer co-workers, certainly family, definitely partners and romantic, but children, you know, uh, parents, all of it is just a new way of life for you. It's a new, you're going to do things the way you want to. And I feel like there's this fresh, beautiful energy coming in. At the end of the month, I feel like if it goes against your value, your standards, your requirements, um, healthy boundaries, you're done. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like, you're not going to sacrifice your integrity for anybody. Follow the signs. Watch out for those messages, those omens. I just feel like you really are serious about this. Like, I feel no games are being played by Gemini. At all. Thank you so much. And you really do have that beautiful blank slate coming into December because you blessed us with the beautiful full moon lunar eclipse last month. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New beginnings in all of your relationships and in how you feel about yourself. What is it that you deserve? How are you respecting yourself? And what does that feel like? What does that look like? You certainly are understanding that you can't you can't hang on to everybody. Some people are not meant to stay. And Spirit is reminding you to, to definitely connect with your ancestors. The end of this month, it is an energy that I feel like your ancestors are going to be telling you how to go after that which you want. It, it is on your soul. It's in you. And you're their legacy. And they want you to be happy. They want you to succeed. And so when you've got synchronicities here for you to watch out for your spiritual guidance, the epiphanies, the deja vu, the visions, the messages, but give. This has come back. I think it was a Taurus and Aries might have had it. But you definitely want to just give, 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 give without thinking about what you're going to get back. Because you have the power of creating that which you so desire. And when you do that, the universe says, okay, look at my child. Just giving, 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 giving. Sending out these ripples of frequency of abundance, 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 abundance. And the universe is going to say, I'm receiving this abundant energy. Oh my gosh, I've got to get it back. Then the universe starts bringing it right back to you. And you will have been the one 
that initiated that frequency. Okay, and so continue to do that. Um, just reach out and be that one that starts it because you're really going to be blessed by it. Your ancestors are here to remind you that you are their legacy. And yes, they are working for you on the other side. And they will continue to do that. So all you have to do is ask. That's it. Don't let your past hold you back. Remember that what, what had to happen needed to happen. And when you do have those moments of reflection, to look back at the messages and the signs that you've been receiving synchronistically, use it to move forward. Okay? Meditate on it, reflect on it, but don't stay there. Okay? Because you need to have that plan. You need to have that plan of action. And Spirit is guiding you to let Spirit give you the master plan. Because this is a month of full manifestation, okay? Uh, this is, you definitely want to look at the overall energy video that is somewhere on this video here as a link. You definitely want to check that out. Gemini, you know, changing the narrative is definitely a big deal for all of us. But for you, honey, you come into December with this release of all releases. And with the solar eclipse and such beautifully blessed energy around the 14th for you is make these new beginnings in your relationship life, in your business partnerships. Don't let the past fear from the failure you've had stop you from starting over in business. Get that plan together, but certainly before you rush into anything, before you rush, ask. Allow your ancestors to come in and talk to you. These beautiful butterflies are all transformation. You've got to come on back in to the fold, commune with the Most High, and then write down everything that you receive, whether it be in your dreams, epiphany, aha moments in the middle of the day, in the shower, while you're cooking, while you're working, whatever is going on, you're playing with the kids, you're exercising, make sure that you write it down, you record it somehow, and you repeat that throughout the month. Pause, quiet your mind, because you've got to ask for your spiritual guidance. And, and our ancestors are right there helping you. They're co-creating, I feel that, your best life. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. All right. So, I feel like, you know, with this coming in, reminding you that it, the loss, the separation very minor. It might have been a breakup. It might have been um, you might have broken up with them. They may have broken up with you, but it certainly is something that is not to hold you back. It's not to stop or block your blessings. So don't let it. This is a good change that needed to happen. So I feel like, you know, this was just you weren't playing any games and you were not going to allow anybody to steal your joy. I feel very strongly about that. And when you look at these heart-shaped balloons and this beautiful blue sky, billowy clouds, the sadness is temporary. I feel like most of you are just like, I'm over it. Definitely major decision that had to be made and some of you still are going to have to make it. I feel like throughout the month, you are making these serious decisions. Don't think for a minute that you are not empowered 
and skilled and blessed enough to do it because you are. You just need that plan. So Spirit has been sending you in this one direction. And you've been seeing the signs. You know that. Now is the time for you to let go and let the Most High. Let God guide you every single step of the way. Take a minute here. Pause. And when you feel like, I can't give to them or I can't, that's giving too much away. I worked hard for this. I can't just give all my services away. I just can't give all my products away. Let me tell you something. That ripple effect that you're sending out to the universe as you give, 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 you are receiving, receiving, receiving what you deserve. Not just what you need, as in, I gave this many, I need to receive this many. Uh-uh. This is, you're giving, 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 giving without paying attention to what the spirit of lack is trying to make you pay attention to by saying, oh no, you're giving away too much. Uh-uh. You're strengthening your family. You're strengthening legacy. You're strengthening generational wealth. You're strengthening the future for your children. And don't let that lie of an energy called the spirit of lack, which is all fear-based energy, tell you otherwise mm -mm. because you got dreams that you're manifesting and remember you are planning it all out so before you make a rash decision a hasty decision based on human fear of, oh i gotta do this now or i gotta make this decision now it's gonna be like that but you've got to pull back and you've got to know that you know what uh-uh miss nicole said let me continue to give, 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 give. Listen to my ancestors. Give, 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 give. Listen. Contemplate where I'm going. Listen. Boom. Here they go. They told me exactly where to go. I know that synchronistically, those are my ancestors. That's my family. I'm definitely going in the right direction. And I'm not going to let my past failure and fear hold me back. Because I know that I'm in alignment with my blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The full moon at the end of the month for you is a release and really your standards. Like you really are going to release from that past. I feel like whether it is in your love life or in your finances... There's a need to really let go of some past trauma and the behavior of some of, oh goodness, some of you are needing to really let go of dating other people that aren't your spouse. And seeing other people that are already committed to other people. You deserve better. And I think some of you are really seeing that. But I also feel like some of you are seeing that you can let go of the subscription you've hung on to that you don't deserve. The type of financial to get stability and the type of true love that you really do deserve. I feel like many of you are letting go of that toxic narrative because it, it really wasn't yours to own. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you have control. You have the power to manifest that. Okay, with the magician here going forward, you've got that power in your hands. You own it. You make it happen, and there's no need to fear if, if it's right, is it fertile ground, am I going to be stable, am I secure? You're sitting on some serious money to manifest. You're sitting on love that is real. You're sitting on uh, some dates, some offers, some rekindlement. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I do feel like you do have time on your side here in a huge way. And I'll share with you how so in just a second. Oh, yeah, it's so on your side. Spirit is so in your corner. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's already been decided, dear Gemini. Yes, you do have options. You do not have to settle. Please don't think that. Please don't think that you have to settle. You do not. Spirit is showing that to you. That's what you're hoping for. You've got options. You can uh, decide to go into a new industry in your career life. You can decide to say, you know what, this is not healthy for me in my love life. You can't, you got options. You do not have to go back to your ex. I feel like both of these want to come out. <gasps> it's, yeah, playing no games at all, okay? At the end of the day, dear Gemini, you are totally done. Transferred over, transformed. I am in my skin, happy who I am, running things the way that you want to, life on your terms, and you're able to just really own it. But, you know, enjoy the romance, okay? And I feel like with your with your career, with your, your business here, yeah, you can be in something you love to do and make money doing it. This is a non-traditional energy. So this is uh, your purpose. And this is business ownership. Um, this is not what you're told to do because you can make a living doing it easily like anybody else. And uh, that energy of the 3D, which is very low. It's lower than where you vibrate because you're such an intellectual airy energy you really vibrate in the fourth dimension with the rest of us so that fear of well is this going to work it's going to work it's going to work and um boy is it going to work this is really good energy for you i feel like uh the confusion is there certainly but honor your intuition with the moon, you know. I just feel like you're, you know, kind of fresh and brand new coming into December. And remember that when the obstacles come, you own it. You got options. So whether it's in the job that you choose the offers in your in your employment, uh, the business opportunities, the the love offers, whether you want to focus on you versus somebody else, you're okay to do that. You know, you really are okay to do that. I feel like it's already been. It's it, the judgment is definitely in your favor. Which means the decision has already been made for you to be happy, okay? For you to really make it and be successful. But remember, don't drop the ball because I feel like there can be some neglect there, some financial instability, some um, overcommitment, some distraction. Create a budget. Make that plan. Don't drop the ball. Remember that. Your dreams need a practical plan. Then that way you're planning your goals. So meditate. Focus on where spirit wants you to go. Spend your energy wisely this month. But you've got to choose where you want to invest your time. You've got options. But you're putting something to rest. You're done with that. And you're deciding, okay, this is what I want to do. I feel good about this. You're communicating it. Uh, and it is in sync with your values. Your ancestors are working for you, with you, on the other side. It feels good to you. Um, and I feel like in your love life, you know, you just want to take it slow. 
you know, don't overcommit. You're like, you know, I just want to become friends and then lovers. And, you know, I, I know that the traditional route is out there, but I just kind of want to be a little non-traditional right now and uh, do things a little different. And I feel good doing that. I feel really like, you know, there's a spiritual component here. I feel like we're connecting. And I feel like you know that when you don't have that other one there, Gemini, that many of you feel their energy coming in. Like I really feel like you're, you're daydreaming about them. You're focusing on them uh, during your meditation. And you're, you're seeing each other. I really feel like you're pulling each other close. So in that energy of giving, remember, you're casting that first stone. And you are certainly creating a stronger, um, just a stronger bond with your partner, even before you manifest it and whether you are. And if you're with your partner now, you certainly are creating that strength, which is active. Absolutely excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah. You got options, though, so don't forget that, okay? So be organized. Keep a schedule. Commit to it. Um, don't be all tied up in busy work. Get out of your mind. Plan the goal. Share it with an accountability partner. And... Share, delegate, share the responsibilities also. You know, be okay with knowing that other people can help you and they can do it. Before you respond to an email, take a minute, think about it, and then go forward. Uh, but certainly remember, the judgment is in your favor. The decision, the universe has already decided that you are going to succeed. So now you got to work it. Don't drop the ball. Like this is here, okay? There's the, the potential of dropping the ball, staying disorganized, giving up, um, neglecting your, your relationship, your love relationship, neglecting the day-to-day, -day, the compassion, spending time with your significant other, your family, um, could cost you your relationship in the long run, so don't let that happen, okay? Spend your time wisely. Keep those distractions to a minimum. Um, you know, block yourself from social media if you need to to get the job done. You certainly are sitting on some amazing, fruitful, harvesting energy. If you're open to how I create generational wealth and legacy income and how we are able to be uh, very stable in this pandemic, definitely... Click the links down below and I'll share with you one-on-one uh, -on -one what I'm doing. And I look forward to speaking with you soon, dear Gemini. Stay safe and healthy.